Hi friends! So in today's video, I am going to be taking you along with me to get a new tattoo! I just figured that I would make this video to kind of give you guys some tips and some tricks and just overall take you through my process of like when I go get tattooed. So yeah, I'm just, I don't know, I thought it would be a fun vlog basically and maybe it'll be even a little bit informational? If not, maybe it'll be entertaining. I don't know. But anyways, I have been going to the same artist for like two or three years now. He has done like all of my tattoos for the most part. My process is that I usually will sit on an idea for like a long time. I mean, all the ones that I have right now are basically like tattoos that I've been planning for like years. And I'm starting to like run out of ideas a little bit. I don't know, I'm having to kind of more spur of the moment come up with things and then kind of sit on them for a few months. But usually what I will do is I will go to either Instagram or Pinterest and look up some ideas of some, like what I'm thinking of so that I can send my artist reference photos. With that being said, it is not ever, ever okay to copy someone else's tattoo. I literally don't know what I would do if someone like flat out copied my tattoo. I can only imagine like how horrible that feels because that's not really like the true art of tattooing and it's just not cool to like copy another artist's work nor like the work that someone else has on their body for the rest of their lives. So don't fucking do that shit, all right? But with that being said, uh, my artist always uses my reference photos to create his own version of that. I plan to do a tattoo tour eventually. I just want to get more filled up in this because I know that I plan on getting a lot of tattoos this year specifically. That was kind of like my goal at the beginning of the year was like I want to get tatted the fuck up this year. That's what I'm using all of my extra money towards. I don't want to do a tattoo tour too soon because I know that I'm just going to be getting more and more things in the near future, so I'm going to wait till probably closer to the end of the year and then I will do a full tour, but yeah, I just thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of take you guys along. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So I send my artist reference photos, he creates his own image, he usually, I believe, draws things the day of, and so like we don't really like go back and forth, like I pretty much just message him and I'm like, hey, can you do this for me? Let me know when, thanks. <laughs> and I'm literally so fucking awkward, but yeah, I'm just like, yo, here's some photos. This is what I like about them. This is what I want. Can you do this? If so, when? We set up a time. He usually gets back to me really fast. I've been going to him since he was an apprentice. So like, I feel like him and I have a pretty good bond. And I will say that every single one of my tattoos that he has done, he has absolutely nailed it first try. I've never had to make him redraw anything. And as far as like sizing goes, I just let him do whatever he wants pretty much. I'm just like, whatever you think is best. Like, if you want to go a little bit bigger, go a little bit bigger. I'm totally fine with that. I'm a very small person, so like the bigger the tattoo, the faster I get filled up. So yeah, I pretty much give him free range. I trust him so much and he's just never failed me so like love him so I sent him some pictures so what I'm gonna be getting next is I'm getting like a little sun star like a very small dainty piece on my chest because let me just undo this really fast I love how much of my chest that these two tattoos take up if that makes any fucking sense but i'm really insecure about this area of my chest so i really want to get something just small and dainty right there just because i think that would look really cute kind of tie everything together center me out really well super cute super feminine let me put this back on because <laughs> i don't want to like flash you guys so I'm getting that on my chest, and then I'm gonna be getting some branches of eucalyptus right here. I am really wanting to just like keep adding to this sleeve. That's what I'm getting done. I'm like really losing my train of thought here. That's pretty much everything I do to like get my appointment set in place. And lately, my artist has been booking me like about a month out, which he used to get me in a lot sooner, but he's 
really been blowing up here in St. Louis so like you know and with COVID too like I can't expect him to be like okay come in next week like he used to. I would like to potentially get tattooed like once a month but I already kind of miss February so you know first week of March let's go I'm getting two tattoos. We'll just see how things go because I don't really know what I'm gonna want to get after these two but you know like we'll I'll figure it out and it'll be fine. I think that my biggest tips for before you're gonna go get tattooed is that the night before or the morning of, please take a shower. It's really just kind of gross if you don't, honestly, but <laughs> your artist will thank you if you come very clean, smelling fresh. My artist uses Sanoderm on me. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. That's gonna be what it's called. Which I love. I love that way more than like the bandages with like the fucking tape. Because I feel like, well, for one, I can shower with it on. For two, I can leave it on for like days. And then for three, I can actually see my tattoo. And it's not just like covered up. You know what I mean? Because of the Sanoderm and how sensitive my skin is, I personally like to shave before my appointment. And I won't just shave like where I'm getting it tattooed, like I will shave as far as I think the Sanoderm could possibly go because the fresher shaven your skin is, the less little hairs the Sanoderm has to like grab onto. So it makes it a lot easier to peel off when there's like literally no hair there. Obviously your tattoo artist is gonna shave you, but I just like to shave myself beforehand. I like to use, these are some old trimmers from work. They're really high quality so yeah they sound like ass but i shave with this first to get all the long hair off but it doesn't get like all the way down to skin so once i do this then i'll take a shower and really shave everything down with a razor but yeah this thing is super handy this is also what i shave my face with i'm just gonna i've already pretty much got the full top of my arm but i'm not about to walk around with half of a shaven arm so I'm just gonna get the rest of my arm really quick too. I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Oh, I love it. I love getting tattooed. I love my tattoo artist. I love the shop. Um, if you guys want to see the, what the shop looks like maybe I'll insert the TikTok here from when I got my snake done. I filmed like just a little bit in there for like the don't be sad go get a tattoo and it's the cutest shop ever. Like it literally is like just another home to me, man. I'm gonna shave my other arm because I feel weird to only have one arm shaven. This is so weird. I'm literally just shaving my arms and talking to you guys. Okay. I enjoy being myself on camera though. It's very refreshing. I get very anxious before my appointments, which I don't know why because, I mean, obviously I've been going to my artist for years and I know like the shop and everything really well. But it's kind of like a doctor's appointment, like it just makes me nervous, dude. I have really bad social anxiety though. My artist is like pretty lax and like not super crazy talkative. So I view getting tattooed as like a therapy session. I just lay there, take the pain. I mean, we talk a little bit, but for the most part, I'm just like chilling. That's why a lot of times like I damn near fall asleep. Up until the moment that he is tattooing me, I am like nervous, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's so dumb. I wish that I could get past that, but yeah, I guess I'm probably gonna save showering for the morning and then I'm gonna like do my hair all cute and do my makeup, make sure that I'm all good. It's always very important to wear something that is going to be very easy for the artist to like work around. I'm not fully sure what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. I have like this one really comfy green shirt that I usually wear for work but it's a v-neck and it has kind of shorter sleeves that would be really easy to roll up so I'll either wear that or I might just wear a tank top. Okay so as you guys can see I have my armpit hair grown out and I'm very confident in myself and having it but I get really insecure thinking about what other people think when they see my armpit hair. And although I don't really think that my artist would care or like judge me or anything, I just get kind of like, oh god, he's gonna see my armpit hair, that's embarrassing. I feel the same way at work too because I'm a hairstylist and I'm always like all up in people's shit, you know? So I don't want them to be like 
ew, like she doesn't shave, that's gross. So it makes me a little nervous to think about wearing a tank top tomorrow, but I'll be fine. It's fine. It is a-okay. Everything's Gucci. I don't even know. I'm literally just rambling at this point. I'm not even talking about fucking tattoo shit at this point. So yeah. I will see you guys in the morning when I'm showered. I will show you guys the rest of my process of getting ready, give you any more tips and shit that I can think of. I'm so excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna move you. I feel like the lighting isn't that great right there. It is tattoo day. I'm so excited. So I think I'm gonna wear this tank top. I already did my makeup. I still kind of want to do my hair. I probably won't do like too much with it, but I don't know. I don't even know if I will do my hair, honestly. I'm definitely nervous to wear a tank top, but like he's gonna be tattooing this part of my arm. So I really don't think that like my armpit hair is gonna be all up in his face. And like I said yesterday, I really don't think he even cares. I think I'm gonna wear a skirt. I just wanna be comfortable. I think that's like the biggest, most important thing is that when you're getting tattooed, you need to wear something that is gonna be easy for the person to access, you know, whatever part of your body you're getting tattooed. And then also you need to wear something that's comfortable because you're going to be sitting there. In my case, I'll probably be there for like two-ish hours. Chris is running out to get me a coffee right now. And then I'm hoping that we'll have some breakfast. If not, like I'm still, I'm going to eat at least something before I go because if I don't eat before my appointments, then, you know, my blood sugar is low. Oh my god. If I don't eat before then my blood sugar is gonna be low and I'm gonna get shaky and I'm already like anxious before my appointments anyway, so. But I have a little bit of time to kill, so I'm like doing some laundry and kind of cleaning the house because this is my first day off in like six days and the house really needs some TLC right now. So I took a shower last night, I'm all clean, good to go. Of course, right before I leave the house, I'm gonna put on more deodorant and then I'm also gonna put on perfume because I get really self-conscious. I sweat a lot when I get tattooed. I don't know if that's like normal. Yeah, oh my God, I remember one time I like sat up off of like the chair thing and my skin was just like and I was like, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. But yeah, um, so I sweat a lot. So I get really self-conscious. I do not want to smell bad at all. I would be so mortified if I smelled that. <laughs> I'm super anal about wearing deodorant and then I don't even wear perfume usually, but bet your ass I'm gonna be wearing perfume today. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I really do to get ready. Eat something before you go, make sure you're hydrated, make sure that you're well rested. I got really great sleep last night actually. Um, make sure you're showered and smelling good. And you should be pretty much good to go. If I forget anything, I'll like put it on the screen, but. That's pretty much everything that I do, and then I like to do my makeup just so that I feel more confident because sometimes walking into a tattoo shop, even though I'm like really used to mine, it can be really intimidating. <laughs> so like, I honestly just have anxiety anyway. So getting ready, although I'm gonna be like wearing a mask the whole time and like who even really cares what my face looks like, it just makes me feel more confident to like leave the house and go do something like this. So I'm pretty sure that's everything that I do to get ready. So I'm gonna like, clean up some more and then I'll probably check in with you guys on my way to the appointment and then I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can very low-key once I'm in there I need to just stop rambling and I need to start cleaning okay I'm gonna do that now bye <laughs> I'm dressed and ready so I'm wearing my tank top so that this whole area is really accessible and then so is my arm I'm wearing a cardigan just because I feel weird going out in a tank top right now, and it's really cute. I have this thrifted skirt from Goodwill. I had to tie it up with like a string so it stays up because it looks kind of awkward with a belt. And then I have on my Jadens because they're comfy. They're like brand new, but they're the comfiest docks that I own right now. But yeah, that is my fit. I'm ready. I am nervous. I have on lots of jewelry. Okay, deep breath. I've done this a thousand times. <laughs> This right here is everything I'm bringing with me. I'm just bringing my wallet so that I have money and my ID, a mask, my keys, obviously. And I like to bring like a sugary drink just in case I do start, you know, feeling too shaky or anything. And then some snacks, probably those are gonna be for afterwards because I just ate breakfast, but just in case. Okay, I'm about to leave. <sighs> 
I am honestly getting so nervous. Like, I really don't understand why I get such bad anxiety every time. It's kind of frustrating, but it's okay. As soon as I get there and he, like, starts tattooing, I will be perfectly fine. Like, I'll just kind of zone out. But I thought it was worth mentioning, too, that it's always good to have your phone fully charged. Because I like to just kind of, like, scroll on Instagram and stuff while he's tattooing me. Just because, like I said, I'm not super talkative while I'm getting tattooed. <sighs> Deep breaths the whole way there. I'm going to throw on some really good tunes. It'll get me pumped up, feeling good. I'm just going to stop by the ATM and get some money out. Because he does prefer cash. So yeah, going to do that and then I'm headed there. covering it up so you guys can't see it. I didn't really film that much in there because he had me lay on my stomach while well, I laid on my back for him to do my chest, which he did first. And then he had me lay on my stomach with my arm like that so that he could do my arm, obviously. So yeah, um, <laughs> you guys, I, I'm so happy with this, like, it looks so pretty, <laughs> oh my god. I'm really, really hyped on this. Um, it's nice because I usually do wear, like, shorter necklaces like this, so I can still, like, wear my jewelry, but, like, my tattoo is just... It looks so good. I'm literally, I, I couldn't be more happy with it, honestly. He nailed it. And then, boom, boom, boom. It turned out really pretty. The ink is already starting to like bleed out of it a little bit. I promise it's really good. I'll put pictures up of both of them right there of like when they were like first done. This one hurt like a bitch. It sucked. I told him to just do whatever shading he wanted. And I think that he just, like, really nailed it. It's so pretty. Like, it's still feminine, you know? Because that was the thing, is I didn't want anything, like, super, like, harsh right there. I think it ties together really well with my flower tattoos. And then, yeah, the eucalyptus. This one, surprisingly, I don't know what it was, but it honestly did fucking hurt. I mean, obviously all tattoos hurt. Like, duh. But these leaves kind of sucked. Once he got all up through there and whatnot, like, it really wasn't bad. I mean, it was really the line work that I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. Once he did the shading, I honestly could hardly feel it. It wasn't bad at all. But yeah, I think it's going to match the whole rest of my sleeves so good. I'm really happy with both of them. Once again, like, he instantly nailed the design. He instantly nailed the placement, which I was really surprised about this one too. He mapped me out with like Sharpies first and then put the stencil on from there. Uh, he had me kind of like move around, stand in different lighting, all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, I think that like he literally nailed it. It looks so good. My whole chest just looks really complete now. I think that the star in the center is so beautiful and yeah, like, I could put some big spiritual meaning behind it. It's, like, symbolic of, like, trusting my gut and my inner energy. And I feel like it just all centers to, like, right here. I don't know how to really explain that. I'm not super spiritual, and I'm definitely not knowledgeable about spirituality at all. But, I don't know, it just makes me think of, like, it's like the portal to my inner energy. Does that sound crazy? I don't know. I just, I really like it. I love the placement. I love everything. On to the next one. The eucalyptus is absolutely amazing. Really like that the leaves are so rounded. It looks so squishy. <laughs> I don't think that he had ever done eucalyptus before. And it was his first time ever asking me why I was getting something specifically tattooed. Which is funny because my mom just saw my snake tattoo and she asked me like why I got the snake. And I was like, you've never- Surprise! Yeah, I was like, you've never asked me that? Like, I don't know, snakes are fucking awesome. I've always loved snakes. Like, that's literally it. So yeah, I was like, kind of thrown off. I was like, wow, like, why- You're asking why I'm getting this tattooed? Interesting. Um, I was like, well, <laughs> I didn't think that far, but I guess if I am thinking about it, like, I- Except for right now. But I always have eucalyptus hanging in my shower. 
I love the smell of it and I think that the leaves on eucalyptus branches are like so pretty. I like that they're like rounded leaves that have like the lines through them. I just I think it's a really neat plant. I don't want to have only floral tattoos. I want to do like other type of plants too, at least like on this arm for my nature sleeve. Really kitty. Pain levels for this one out of 10. Fuck, I don't even know. I'd say this was like, say maybe like a six and a half to a seven out of 10. It was painful. If it was much bigger, I don't know how well I would have sat through it. But because it was so small, he literally got this done in under 20 minutes. So like, I can't just sit here and be like, 10 out of 10, that sucked. Cause it took him like seriously no time at all. So pain on this one out of 10. I'd say the line work was like a six and a half, seven out of 10. The shading was like a two out of 10. Overall, I'd say it was like right about a five or a six. Not bad. I could sit through that for hours. Um, I mean, I have, hello. Arm tattoos really aren't bad. It's leg tattoos for me personally that suck. That leads me into going for a nature sleep on this arm. Like I told you guys, I don't fully know what I'm doing with this arm. It has like a couple of music tattoos and then it also has like a snake and my flowers. So I'm kind of just going with like sporadic random shit on this arm. Um, and then I have one tattoo on my left leg and that was just a flash tattoo, but my right leg does not have a single drop of ink, but that is gonna change hopefully within the next couple of months. I was laying there getting my shit tattooed. I almost fucking fell asleep. And I was just sitting there daydreaming and I'm like, God, what am I gonna get next? And so I've always wanted on my right leg, I've been saving it to do a horror sleeve. I've had that plan since probably like high school, like early high school. So horror movies are like the only movies that I genuinely enjoy watching uh take that with what you will take with that what you will what's the saying do with that what you will with that information what you will oh, what the fuck is happening anyways horror movies are my favorite i just really fucking love horror movies i feel like they really shaped me as a person i looked at him while he was like tattooing me and i was like hey mason i have a question for you <laughs> he was like what's up and i'm like I don't have any leg tattoos on my one leg and kind of want to do a horror sleeve. How would you feel about doing that for me? And he was like, huh, all right. <laughs> it's like, what are you thinking? And so anyway, we got to talking about what I'm wanting to do. I've always been like really nervous to tell him that like, you're the only person I'm ever going to ever again and I want you to do all my tattoos and hear all my ideas. Like I've just never... Talked it. I just messaged him, set my appointment, and then, you know, that's it. So it was really cool to actually get to, like, talk and plan stuff with him. And so, as he was cleaning this off, I scrolled through my Pinterest really fast because I have a whole folder of specifically horror tattoos. I'm wanting to do my whole horror sleeve on my leg. And I, I've been so scared to, like, start it and to even say that I'm starting it, but um, it's happening. So yeah, needless to say, we're getting that started very soon. I also told him about how my goal for this year was to get like at least one tattoo a month, but I was like, I don't know how realistic that is. And he was like, I'm fine with that first of all. Second of all, some people will get a tattoo like once a week. So he's like, if you want, we can pick a day and be like first Friday of every month, you're in here. And I was like, okay <laughs> i mean we didn't like fully agree on that but that's an idea really i meant is it realistic like to my bank account without giving too much away the kicker off to my horror sleeve is going to be the house from psycho and i'm just really fucking excited i think that it's gonna be so sick <laughs> I'm, I'm getting so excited thinking about it and then it makes me think of like the other things that I want to do for the sleeve and I'm just like, yo, this is gonna be fucking tight. And like, I could tell that the more he started understanding what I was meaning, like what direction I want to take, he was like, mm, okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. And shout out to him for helping me save a little bit of money for my future stuff. <sighs> I'm literally in tears. I'm so happy. <laughs>
tattoos mean so much to me like even if i get something like this that doesn't have like a big grand meaning tattoos in general just have a lot of meaning to me i'll just say this now for any family that's watching or just people in general that don't like tattoos i'm sorry but this shit gives me more serotonin than like anything else and it makes me really happy and it makes me so much more confident and i am nowhere near stopping so yeah anyways those are my tattoos i'm gonna put this back on because it's a widow chewy Hope that that was at least somewhat informational, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I say that in, like, all of my videos. But hope you guys learned some pretty good tricks and tips and all of that type of stuff. Always, 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 though, listen to your tattoo artist over anybody on the internet. I am not an expert. I just have a lot of experience in getting tattooed. And, yeah, this is pretty much my whole overall process. So thank you guys for coming along today. This was great. I had a great day. Super happy. If you guys want me to keep doing tattoo videos please let me know i'm definitely willing to do more like tattoo vlogs definitely definitely though i'm going to film that tattoo tour i'm so excited for that if you guys want to see that please let me know and as always like this video give a big thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think about my tattoos but only if it's nice because i don't give a fuck if you have a bad opinion because i'm happy i love them so do that subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you can see when I upload. And I think that's it. Okay, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you, bye.